major trends we've seen on the African continent, interestingly, are no different to what we're seeing in the rest of AIG's business globally, and that's uh, in my area, which is financial lines, the, the uptick in cyber interest. So cyber insurance is definitely the, the, the new sort of trend within uh, buyers' purchasing habits. And um, yeah, there, there are various options in the market. I mean, I think there is a little bit of a misconception around what you actually get out of a cyber insurance policy. Um, AIG has been the market leader in this space, you know, getting to launch the product within the Africa continent in 2012 uh, and, uh, and since then coming up with various iterations of the policy. The other area that we are seeing an uptick in is, is interestingly kidnap and ransom insurance. Um, there have been a few sort of isolated cases across the continent uh, around kidnaps um, and, uh, and that's certainly shown within the interest that, that, our, that our customers uh, ha have exhibited. Um, generally, we've got you know, a good amount of interest within directors and office insurance. Uh, and then I guess the product that really sells the most across the continent is, is a banker's blanket bond or crime related products, uh, which is really a sort of a fraud based uh, insurance cover. AIG has a presence, um, I guess, within four countries within Africa. So we're in Egypt, uh, Kenya, South Africa, and then we, we recently reopened in, in Uganda. Uh, we have uh, a network within the rest of the countries uh, that we operate with, and they actually are quite different. Um, you know, I think that you've got language barriers, you've got um, legal requirements, which is often a basis for our product, actually, that are based on different jurisdictions. So you've got the Francophone countries, um, you've got English-based, uh, you know, around East Africa and certainly uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. So very, very different. Um, and, and I guess that's why we feel that um, it's really important to have, for us anyway, a, a partner within each territory that we don't have uh, an actual office in. That allows us to sort of grasp the, the local nuances around buying patterns, what customers want, um, and, and how to trade in, in those territories. The AIO really has been great. It's my, it's my second conference. Um, I guess it's nice to have it here in, in Johannesburg, um, less travel. But, uh, but I think, yeah, I mean, it, it, they pack a lot into the three days, right? I mean, and uh, I guess they always got a challenge of, of, of what to use within the short time that they've got. I think it's great that we get so many delegates from across the continent. Um, you know, it, I think it really is the premier event for insurance across our continent. And uh, it's been great for us to, you know, not just look, well, I guess, introduce to new uh, partners, but also the, the old ones that we've had relationships with before. And it's an opportunity for us to reconnect, talk about business, how things are going. We can update them, I guess, what's happening on our side, and they can give us more of a flavor, I guess, uh, on what's happening in each territory.